All right, I'm a hooper and I try to seize every opportunity I can to get on a basketball court. But if you're like me, you struggle sometimes to find open spaces. So right now I'm trying to go find this hidden gem that I hear is open for run. So let's go take a look. The Playground Toronto is one of the only private gym facilities in Toronto itself. Growing up at Galloway and Lawrence, I always played outside. I, when the winter hit, it was hard for us to find some other play. I mean, Heron Park was there, but it's hard to get into. There's so many things going on. It's something that Scarborough's been lacking for a long time. Well, you know, with COVID pushing everything back, it took like a year and a half, to be honest with you. But, you know, pressure makes diamonds, and we've got to build something that we, we both love. All right, so this place can be a little bit difficult to find, but if you know where the Mandarin is in Scarborough, it's right behind there. So all you do is take a flight of stairs up to the second floor, and then you'll find basketball paradise. We want to bring the outdoors indoors, which is why we named the playground. The gym caters to everybody. For us, it was really important to give Scarborough kids a place to go and be safe, keep them off their feet. You guys know living in Toronto, you're going to play outside for so long. We've got a doctor dish, which is perfect. Uh, the shooting gun, which everybody loves. Again, the portable nets that are movable. We have a full court, it's about 75 by 45. In the world of COVID, again, you can come in, get your own workout and be by yourself. So you have your own spaces. We have everything divided, so we have more than one practice court. Obviously, we have four. On the main court, you can have up to 15 people on the main court. Masks when they come in. If you're not playing or you're not practicing, everyone should wear a mask. Coaches wear a mask. That, and for the time being, no spectators, no parents. Just the coaches and the players for now. When you walk into this place, it is draped in artwork and graffiti. On one wall, you'll see images of some of the best basketball players, past and present, and then you'll see some local artwork as well. And then my favorite is on the main court, you'll see some of the most iconic outdoor courts in the world. We all were there when Kawhi hit that big shot. We all know how we felt. We all know how downtown was looking. Since then, an interest in basketball has tripled. Going to a basketball court outside now, it would be hard not to find everybody playing. I get messages all the time, like I'm trying to play, I'm trying to play. And we're just here trying to serve that need because just like me, I'm a hooper at heart. I just want to play, Sam wants to play, Kareem wants to play. We all just want to continue that going. We want to make sure that we can, again, serve the community and give them what they need.